I'm hoping some of the things that I bring up give us some good discussion to figure out some things. Um, okay, so first of all, woo woo, good job. Um, I want to give give a big shout out to some of the things that you guys did in June, which is super great. Um, so. Mary, you were our top salesperson um, on our director team with $4,557 and some change. Okay, whoop, whoop. That's exciting. Um, and then Lindsay Ross hit over $4,000. So that is also exciting. Um, but yeah, so Mary's just like killing it. Any secrets of the crypt that you would like to tell us? No, not really. I was just really prepared last month. Actually, I want, to know, I want you to know that I did have all 6000 in sales for last month. I remember that you're like, it was there. <laughs> but my host didn't close in time. So whatever. I got a good start to this month because this month is going slow. So I don't know. I really, I really think the group orders are what is helping my sales. I know people were asking a bunch of questions about that. Like, oh, what if somebody, something doesn't work? I feel like it's a really simple thing. You just call home office and it just gets shipped, right? <laughs> well, yep. Yeah, so like what I tell people is, because some people that do, they don't care. And so what I'll do is like when I get all these orders on napkins from Sally collecting from work or whatever, like if I see someone with a can opener or I see there's a can opener, I'm like, who ordered the can opener? Let me put it under that name. Because the person with the $4 mini nylon spatula and the seasoning, and we're like, sorry, you don't get your warranty, but at least it'll be easier to track when it's under, um, you know, that, that person. And I try to go with the item that is most likely to need a warranty in however many years. But honestly, all of those people, they're trading their warranty to say $2. And you know what? They don't care. They right. don't care. Like, they don't think about that. Yeah. Uh, I, I think every party I had last month had at least $200 in sales doing it the group order. And I had girls, I think, or seven. So like, when you're doing it, are you, like, telling the host, hey, go grab? Like, hey, I, I, I give her the option. Like, do you want to offer group shipping where everybody pays a dollar? Or I'll pay the shipping depending on how slow it's going. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And usually when they offer the $1 shipping, they're fine. Like everybody's like, yeah, I'll do it. Add that, add that. And then I write everything down. I give them all the totals. I even offer PayPal for them to send it to me in PayPal. And then I just, you know what I mean? Cause yes. some people, I, I know how it is. If PayPal was on Pampered Chef, we'd probably have more sales. You know what I mean? Cause you can go on and just. Boop. Did I tell you guys that I brought that up the other day or no. one of my last meetings? I brought it up. I was like, Honestly, I'm like, here's the deal. I go, I don't know what it takes to get that. I was like, but you want to know why Avon got my order? Because they had PayPal. I was like, I was sitting outside, and I was like, oh, I keep meaning to get some of their Skin So Soft bug spray. And my kids were running around, you know, because I needed bug spray in that second. I was like, oh, I remember. I went to the website from someone who had passed me a catalog at some point, went on, put the stuff in my cart, went through to payment. I was like, I wonder if I'll be able to do this right now. Gave me PayPal. I was like, oh, done. Because I'm telling you right now, if I would have had to go inside and get my card, I would have just closed out. And I would have meant to go back later. Who knows if it ever would have been done. Um, and so I was telling the virtual party council actually that because I was like, guys, the majority of our people, when they're doing their shopping, like they're in bed, like being a zombie on Facebook. You know what I mean? I was like, and they're not going to get out of bed to go find their payment. But if they can just click through something that's already saved, then they'll probably finish their order. She's still screaming, and I told hubby to go get him, to go get her. I was like, she's going to need snuggles. My meeting starts in four minutes. It's been 14. I mean, I'm a big fan of Cry It Out, but this one, I was like, this one's different, honey. Like, you need, it's because we're doing something weird to her sleep time. Go help her out. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, and really what you're offering, Mary, is called customer service. It takes a little bit more effort to maybe, like, message things. And again, is that something that I would necessarily, like, encourage and shove not a whole lot because we don't want to screw pamper chef I and mean, we we know that the 525 shipping is a steal you know we mail stuff all the time um but some people just don't want to i had one person that she was whining because she wanted to buy three dollar replacement rings well the shipping is just astronomical i'm like right because you're trying to give your friend a three dollar order like just hand her three dollars <laughs> like i'm like again it's fine but i'm like it would cost me four dollars to ship that if I was shipping myself or three fifty because that's the smallest package you can mail. You know I mean? But these people don't know that they just think it's really cost like a stamp. I'm like, well, no. Um. So yeah, I think that that's a great thing to be able to offer to your host. Or if you have people that are trying to do 
hit the next level in free for all or whatever. Like we remember, we all know how to manipulate the system to help us reach goals, but our teammates do not. Even our teammates that have been around for a while, if they are not consistently plugged in and involved, they just don't think that way. I mean, think of how many things that we've been to where we've been like, oh my gosh, that's not even like that brilliant. But why didn't I think of it? It's the same thing. Being able to give them those ideas are really, really um, helpful to be able to help them hit. So especially if you guys are struggling to get to your green, your 5,000 sales, encourage something like that, that group order, that shipment, they, uh, you know, if your consultant collects $200, they can get the 60% off item and get themselves a power tool. You know, there's all sorts of benefits to that. So, and congrats to that one. Um, I want to give a big shout out to Anne, Sandy, Shelly, and Diana, who all recruited in June. Yay. So, what we'll, we'll, to you guys? Um, a big holler out to Lisa, who won our power hitter um, for June. So, that is awesome. And then Lisa is also green already for this month. So, green by 15, that's amazing. And guys, and remember, that is that is a goal that we always want to strive for, but man, it's hard. Okay, it's hard. Like, just in the last year, I started being consistently green before 15, okay? Um, but that was six years in, and like a year in as an executive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't mean that that's not what you guys should shoot for, but like, if those of you guys that have hit green by 15, why do we want our director team to be green by 15? Why do we want to hit that? What is the motivation for that? Because Trina doesn't want to have to yell at you later. So we don't have to struggle at the end of the month to close out all of our parties and be green the last day? Because what? where's your mind at? The next month. Sometimes. How about with your team? When it's, so there's 31 days this month. Stephanie, did you say it? I was just saying because your focus is on yourself and not your team. I mean, really, like, well, Stephanie had a, a little while back or whatever. She was green, like, it's like the first week or something. It was fast. Um, and she was like, it's crazy. She's like, I have a completely different mindset now and three weeks to do it. Like, hey, who needs help hitting a goal? Hey, I've got a new recruit. Let me help you. Hey, you know, like, so you talk about promoting. How are you doing? You know, I mean, like, suddenly it's not this, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. I mean, I remember messaging my teammates on the last day of month, hey, got any parties out? Because I was in month three and I was panicking, being like, I, I don't know if we have it. And then really, I'm telling them, I need you to submit that party right now because I need to hold title. I mean, that's really what's going on in my head. And that's what happens when you're going to the end of the month. If you can get done early, like right now, like my team is green. I, I could not submit another dollar. I could have zero parties on my schedule. It doesn't matter right now. I can focus on everything that you guys are doing. And hey, what do you need help? Hey, who's here? Okay, um, I've got a new consultant that's starting. I can worry about recruiting so that I can start the next month off strong. Like you're just in a totally different mindset. And so if you can get, the earlier you can get your team green, the more you can be about your team. And the more you're about your team, the more they'll get you green earlier. Okay. It's just different. And that's also one of the reasons why those quick tip and clarification messages that I um, tell you guys to send out, like, and I, I've been trying to post what I, because Ellington Boyce, or I, I steal it from somebody in the executive group. I think it's Ellington Boyce. Um, she says, hey, here's what I do. And she sends it out. So you know what I do? I adjust it to what I would send out to my team. And then I've been pasting it in the director page so you guys can steal it. And I just use that text to group. Takes me like five minutes. It's the app. Um, I have to have my group messaging off when I want to use it so that it sends it out. I only send one message, but it sends it out to everybody individually. And then if they reply, it comes to me individually. And so they feel like it's not this mass text. They can probably tell by some of the verbiage that it was or that I was copying and pasting or whatever. But I get a lot of replies from people that don't talk to me normally when I send them that message because they're not paying attention to the group, uh, to, the, excuse me, to the Facebook group. They don't care. They're not involved. They do a party every three months, right? But when they get at the beginning of the month, when they get me caring about them to give them that information, okay, then they're like, oh, it's 60% off this month? Wow, that's a really good special. I should contact my cousin. She, she always talks about doing a show and she's wanted new pants. And that's the first week in the month and then they're already working. If I'm trying to let them know the last week or two of the month, hey, hey, do you have anything? Like when you're like, uh-oh, I'm not gonna hit my numbers. Okay, and now we're trying to make them struggle and then they're scrambling. When it's at the beginning of the month, it's all about them. 
Okay. And then they can reach out and be like, Hey, thanks for letting me know. What was this again? Be like, Oh yeah, it's free for all. You know, do you have a lovely, do you want, do you need some scripts? What do you need me to help you with? It's a completely different mindset shift and you'll operate differently and they can tell. Okay. Um, if you guys have been in uh, to, um, what, uh, book your, or boost your business or things like that, they talk a lot about, um, the desperation language and stuff like that. Like people can tell when we're desperate. Okay. And we don't want to send that out. Okay. And we don't want our teams to feel like we're, we're desperate. And at the end of the month, sometimes the truth is told we are. Okay. But we shouldn't have to be, we shouldn't have to start the month that way. You know what I mean? And then it'll kind of trickle down. Um, so yeah, so a big kudos to Lisa for being, um, for being rocking and being green already. Um, and then several of you guys are there. Like our numbers are, our team numbers are looking pretty decent. Um, we need to kind of help each other get there. We've got, um, we've got Sandy, Brandy, and, um, Anne are all in month three. Okay. And I think we have a plan in Stokes with all of them. Um, I will throw in a little, I did get a chance to, I'm not going to put all of her business out there, but I did get a chance to talk to Brandy yesterday. Um, her health is doing fine. She's doing okay. Um, she's got some other personal family stuff that's going on, um, with some of the health of her family members that has just been... She's kind of the responsible one in her family as far as her siblings and stuff go. And so everything's kind of falling on her and it's something had to give. And so far it's this. So I'm working with her team to try to make sure that she is able to um, kind of come back. So I just told her, I go, Hey, your director team, we just love you. And we want to make sure you're okay. Um, I was like, we just know. And I think, you know, I mean, you guys know Brandy, she's a rock star. So she's feeling like if she touches it, she has to touch it like a hundred percent Brandy. And I was like, hun, get your nose above water, qualify. And then just sit there for a minute. <laughs> you know, I was like, just breathe. You Then you have more time. Like, you have stuff going on. Let us help you. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to see that. We've got a couple weeks to kind of get her pushing in. But she is, she's, she is personally safe and she is healthy. She just has a lot going on. Um, you know, and even just with Facebook, she hasn't even been logging on a messenger or anything because there are so many questions and so many things of people wondering, hey, where are you or hosts or different stuff or whatever. She's just like, I know the second I step back, it's going to be overwhelming. So I've been just trying to encourage her like, hey, your directory team are your friends. We love you. We miss you. We want to stand alongside of you. And, um, you know, you don't have to come back a thousand percent. Like, just come back. You got some crap going on. It's okay. Um, so I just wanted to kind of let you know uh, where she was at because I know we were all concerned and kind of sent her, sending her that way. So I was very glad to get be able to get a chance to talk to her on the phone. Um, but yeah, so she, she hasn't really even been on Facebook messenger much. I was able to get responses when I text messaged her or called her. Um, then she was able to let me know what was going on. Um, okay. So that is where we're at. Now we do have our structure right now is six and three. Like that's how many we like, not gonna lie. It makes me a little nervous. Um, so what we are working on and wanting to do, we do have several team leaders that are going through the ranks or people that are recruiting, or we have a lot, guys, we were on the upswing again for recruiting. Okay. We had the highest recruiting month last month that we've had all year. Okay. Um, we had 21 people that were um, invited. And so what that means is we have 21 people, okay, that are brand spanking new. And for all we know, that's 21 fast track directors waiting in the wings. Okay. You know what I mean? So like to be able to help you guys get to your goals and what you're wanting. Um, remember promoting a director gets you 6,000 trip points. I mean, there are so many different things that promoting more leaders to come and join us in this team, um, will help us to be able to do, um, to be able to keep us in the know with different things and just to have a stronger director team so that we can have other people to pass the baton. Um, I know a lot of you guys have, you know, stepped up and taken trainings and things like that, but just you know, when we're spread out to get more of those ideas, um, it's super normal for executives teams to have some ebb and flow, but we definitely need to get in the flow um, as far as that goes. So that is kind of fun. I'm going to, well, here, I'm on my hotspot. Will it let me, I don't know if it's going to let me, I don't think it lets me go live if I'm on my hotspot. Let me see if I can find, oh no, I don't want that one. I want, I don't want the go freshers. Because I haven't gone live for a while to. Okay, well, I'll do that. I'm going to go, I'll go live and kind of talk about our tree or whatever afterwards. I have to, 
<clears throat> double check my team leader apples to make sure that those are accurate. Um, but so we need to, for us to be able to rally together, we pretty much need 100% structure. So just like I do the director drawing when we hit six plus two, if we hit six plus three and get all of our directors green, then I will do two drawings, just like I would normally do if we had sequential things, because I think that that's, that's pretty cool. And um, we totally have the option to be able to do that this month, I think. I know that we've got some people that are in do or die month, so nothing motivates you like that. Um, and then the rest of you guys, I know are best in talent really working to go into conference strong and it would be so great for our members that are going to conference to be able to like feel that boost and that rush and that momentum. If we were going on to that, to shooting in, that's That would be really, really powerful. Um, okay. Oh, okay. So speaking of our new directors, does everybody know that we have a new consultant group, like for people in their 30 days, because let me get. Because I feel like this has been lost. So let me find this group. I'm going to put the link in. Tell my baby before all. I just saw that, Mary. Super cute. Um, I love that he's wearing a Packers helmet. Or it looks like a Packers helmet. I don't know if that's on purpose, but it looks like a Packers helmet because that's where I live. Um, so what do I New consultant. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste the new consultant 101 link. And what we've kind of figured out, if you missed it, is because we were struggling getting our new consultants trained because events went away or we couldn't um, post in our, using CentShare using our events. And so then we we're like, what do we do? And then we started trying to create separate groups so that we could do it because it was hard to try to ask people to manually post. Um, oops. Sorry, I've got to find the right group. My multitasking is not doing so great. Okay, so I'm going to post in the new consultant group. And what this group is designed for is it's designed for people in their first 90 days. Okay, it's called New Consultant 101. Um, when we have an event, if you are doing the new consultant training, do it in there if they're posts. And it's not, and we're trying to keep it really just like leaders and new consultants. And the reason for that is because we want to know and be able to track our people. Okay. So whenever your, whenever your team gets a new consultant, put them in this group also. Yes, I am. Yep. Um, so you put that in, put them into that group. Then you will remove them when they're done with their 90 days. It's okay to remove them at like the end of that month because technically they could fast track that whole month. So like if their 90 days is October 4th, you can just leave them in there for October. Um, no, if someone says, uh, so it's been five months and I never went to any of those new consultant trainings, go ahead and put them back in. Just be like, hey, Trina, you know, I'm putting Sally in there because she, you know, she took a few months off and before she even got started and now we're going to get her rocking and rolling. But I think that's going to really help us focus in on our new consultants. Because <clears throat> remember, when you're dividing people into A, Bs, and Cs, New consultants should be A's until they prove otherwise. Okay, you just treat them like A's. They are, they're your next fast track to director. Okay, I always tell people, here's the deal. I will sprint off the line with every single one of my new people, but the second I turn around and figure out that they're a dead body, then I stop running also. <laughs> I mean, then I go figure out, hey, are you, what, what's your plan? I'll be back, okay? Um, <clears throat> but that way we're able to do the new consultant trainings. I've been trying to do the strong start groups in there. Um, that's why Becky is still in a new consult. Yes. Um, and so, and honestly, something like that, like she truthfully, like, I think she had her 90 days at the end of last month, maybe, but like, she could probably be removed from there. Cause you know what she's going to do with every single training? Sorry, have to work. Can't make it. Like she's not like, that's what she's going to do every single time. If several months go by and she asks for training in something specific, say, yes, this training is coming up. I'll add you to this and you can flip through. But for now, she's just going to let us know. Oh, can't make it. We're aware that you're not going to make it or do anything. It's fine. <laughs> um, but so <clears throat> trying to figure that out. So that is the new consultant group. So if you guys can, you know, save that in your favorites or whatever, so that, you know, every time you have a team member, make sure that they get well, that they get added in there. Um, because you're the person who did the recruiting probably doesn't know that d isn't in that group. Okay. Unless they are also a new consultant. So the directors need to be adding them, uh, adding them in there. Um, and then I can't add them in unless I'm friends with them. And it's not that I don't want to be friends with them, but they might not want to be friends with me yet. They might not be ready for that. Um, 
So the new consultant groups, um, I'm going to give you guys a second. If you will go in right now, and if you will check to see who was added to your team and add them in there to make sure that we have that as up to date as possible with those that are in our group right now. And then if you have any questions about it, I'm going to steal some more nerds and do some shots. Or suggestions. This is the best option we've come up with so far to figure this out. I don't know if there's better ways to do it with what we've been given. We're glad you found us again, Diana. My kids are going to come down here and say goodnight and find out that I stole all their candy. Are you already adding people into the group? I have added my new ones. So you guys should all be in there. So you need to go in and add. Mine, okay, because oh. like mine are in there, but I didn't, I don't think I knew the group existed, but my people are in there. Like somehow I missed that. Um, I went in, when did I go in? I posted it and tagged all the new people and told them to request. And then of okay. course, other people that are dumb that aren't new asked to, got in there anyways um if you do not you, and again not that this group has to be guarded but i just i'm trying to keep it like funneled and clear so that when we go in there and we see it we know that they're in our their 90 days when we're working with them so like if you guys i might have you as admins and stuff like that so that you can do postings if you see a name pop in there that requests to join that group that you do not know is on your team and in their first 90 days don't put them in there like, don't approve it. Just let them sit there and I can figure it out later by looking at my reports. Yeah, because I did a post earlier. I added as many people as I was friends with that were still in their 90 days when we decided to do the training that way. And then I posted, hey, if you're in your 90 days, I posted everybody that was applicable. And so if you see anybody that just finished their 90 days, go ahead and remove them as well. And here, let me make sure. Let me get you guys all in there as admins too. Just realize that would be Katrina, are we like putting our team leads in there or are we going to take them out too um if they're actually wanting to be trained as a leader go and keep them in if they just team leaded by default which i just kind of you know what i mean like i don't remember okay i mean like this sounds mean but like abby sometimes hits team leader or whatever but she's not interested in doing any of that with her team and so i don't have her in the group there's no need to be anybody on her team that would be working or new or needing stuff I haven't been working with. Uh, and let me make sure that you guys are all, let me get you guys in as admins. Um, Um, who's Diana? Who am I missing? That's everybody that's in here. I don't think I can remove people, Trina. You can't? I don't think so. Uh, let me make sure you're admin. Are you now, can you now? Oh, there you go, sorry. Yep, that was my bad. Yes, if you have somebody on your team that has several recruits and they're connecting with their team, that is totally fine because to me they're a developing leader and it's good for them to be in there. But if you have like one person that randomly found one recruit at one point, unless they are like, yes, I want more, I would leave them out. 
You guys can do that at your discretion. And then give me a holler if you. Okay, Shelly's done. Seriously, so much candy. Um. Okay, Stephanie's done, Diana's done, Lisa and Mary, have you guys had a chance to, I feel like, Lisa, are you frozen or just looking down at her keyboard? <laughs> There you go. There's Lisa's face. You're not frozen anymore. Okay, she's done. One, two, three. Okay, that was every. Okay, awesome. Okay, so hopefully now that we've got kind of our head wrapped around that, and yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I know that those things that I definitely didn't do, I don't know, I think I maybe did a tag or something like that, but I did do a very good, like, hey, once we were all kind of figuring it out last quarter of like, here's where this is probably a good spot to be. And then I just figured that would be good for us to kind of do a rewind so that'll be like where those new consultant trainings and things like that happen if there's any posts um because we have been doing some of them in the group and i just think right now with what facebook is giving us that's going to be the best option of kind of keeping them all corralled and having the new consultants know that that's that that's a kind of a go-to place um and then what's nice is because we were tempted to not do it because we just feel like there are so many groups that they get added to but honestly that'll just be like a, hey here's your new consultants spot and they kind of become friends like and some of those new consultants strong start uh facebook events or whatever that i've done like they all kind of chit chat with each other and i see them friend request each other because they're new and so i'm like it creates kind of a little bit of a new culture for them um like my friends rachel hansen and melody harper i met them at new director academy because we were all the newbies that year and got together and, you know i mean it just kind of creates a little bit of that um okay um i am going to run a mock party next week Okay, and here's what I'm hoping this will do for your, for your teams. Okay, um, I'm going to post the group, okay, in um, Goal Crushers, and I'm going to also have you guys, and I'll add all of you guys, okay, and it's going to be your job to add your teams, okay, and it's going to, like, what they're going to do is we're going to pretend like it's a party. I have a fake link in there. Which here's what I hear. Okay, here, help me out with this thought. I'm on direct ship now, so I have just a pretend link in there that doesn't really work because I don't want anybody to order because I can't stop the order. And God bless it, but someone will order. <laughs> someone on our team will order something from me, and I will be like, "Why did you do that? Like, you shouldn't." Have Put done Brandy's that. link in there. But. <gasps> Then if somebody accidentally orders, <laughs> she has some sales. That's happening. See, this is why I say these things out loud. Okay, because and I love I love that. Okay, so this is why I said say this stuff out. Okay, because I was like, uh, I'm like, well, I want I don't want people to actually order for me. You know what I mean? Because that's silliness or whatever. And I can't even say, oh, you weren't supposed to order. I'll just delete it. It's like, nope, it's in and shipped already. I can't help you. Um, thanks for the money, I guess. 
Um, thinking. Okay, so I'm gonna change that to Brandy's link because, and that's actually helpful too because I don't want it to show. Um, it will show. It's gonna just always show an error or things like that if they click on it, and I don't really want them to see that, but I didn't want them to order from me. Um, okay, so we're gonna put that in there. Check. Whoops. Um. Um, so the mock part, the goal of the mock party will be that everybody is supposed to put on the glasses of a guest and the shoes of a participant and just be in the party and hopefully also be seeing through the eyes of a consultant to like, oh, that's how Trina is responding. So here is, here's the difference. It is not your job. Do not, um, don't help me if that makes sense. You know, like on like, uh, like training events where I'm like, oh, thank goodness you guys asked some of those questions because I just couldn't get to any of them. On this one, I need them to see me as the consultant, how I would interact with all of those guests. And you know what? Like, and I'll put a disclaimer out there when I introduce it to the team. Like, hey, you, some people like if uh, like on the roll call post in a real party, I comment on everybody's. If 200 people message and I don't get to everybody's, it's fine. You know what I mean? But like, I want them to see what interactions and things like that, that uh, we probably all naturally do as leaders that they are missing out on. And then they're wondering why they don't have any bookings or they don't have any recruit leads or they don't have any orders or things like that. And so I think that a mock party will really help them be able to see that. Um, so all of you guys are pretending to be hosts or pretending to be guests as well. Um, maybe don't, um, unless it's dead, and like crickets, maybe don't go in and like guess in the games or don't ask questions or things like that because um, we want it to not feel cluttered. You know what I mean? And like just our team will naturally be probably putting that in there. I mean, if it's like chirp, 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 nobody's playing a game, then go ahead and go in and there and do that. But my guess is it's going to blow up <laughs> uh, just from people just kind of coming in and playing or the new consultants figuring that out. Um, and so I'm hoping that by them being able to see that from start to finish, um, that that will be helpful. Now, I would like to start it off by doing a host coaching call that I record. You know, I, if you guys remember, I did one a while back or whatever with a real host. Um, I will, who do I have up next week? Okay, so then my question, I will either be trying to do one um, with one of my real hosts and just pretending to host coach like she's my Jane Doe. Um, or I will ask one of you guys to set up a call with me at like a lunchtime or something like that, where I'll pretend to host coach you and record it so that they can see some of the role playing there. Um, and people can kind of come in and watch. So that is my goal um, to have that going. The party will run Sunday through Saturday, just like I normally would. And I'm going to have it be grilling and chilling. So that's going to be the, the outline that we're going to use. Um, hopefully people won't be stupid. And if they are guessing, like they won't guess it right. Or I'll put in different games. Or maybe I'll do different games so that they don't have the answers. So they're not like, oh, it's 518 in the manual food processor. I'm like, really? Come on, people. Um, so I, I go try to find some games that maybe, especially some of our new consultants don't know, um, or I can make it up. Um, and so I'm hoping that that will help some of our, I've been meaning to do this for forever and just haven't gotten it done. Um, and so I'm hoping that that helps kind of our teams. What do you guys picture wanting your teams to see or that your teams would need or you would want me to make sure happen for that? I would love it if you could do the videos. Oh, mm -hmm. I think those are, they don't do them enough. And I think if they're not in the um, pace setters group that they don't get challenged enough. And I would love to see them see what those videos should look like. So like the strong opening and like my draw, like stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Your why video, your strong closing. Okay, awesome, yep. Okay, that's good. Because, yeah, like I said, things like that, like, that's just part of my normal party. Like, I just put them in. But, like, and if they and aren't in some of these extension groups, they don't see it. Yeah, Lisa? That's, that's what um, I think. I agree with Shelly. And I was just going to add, I think you should run it exactly like you would run your own party so they can see exactly what that looks like from start to finish. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, um, I decided to start doing some of those things when I watched you and then I could um, see it in my mind because once you can see it in your mind, then it becomes a possibility and it's less um, fearful. It's less mm -hmm. fearful for people. So I think that's, that's good. 
Awesome. Because when I think what it'll, because it's, I'm hoping what it'll do is it'll be like, here's how I run my party. But, you know, because I get people sometimes, hey, will you add me to one? And I'm like, well, I'm partway through one. Or then I start being like, well, should I add them to a past one that was good? But if you're not in that interaction, you know, as it's going on live, it's hard to picture it. It's hard to visualize what's going on. Like, oh, she popped this up with day three. Or when they're in the middle of their day, when do they see that notification? Do they see the notification? You know, I mean, just some of those things that will, I think, kind of open their eyes to what it's like to be a participant in one of those and like, oh, I don't do this. And again, not that everybody's going to do everything. Um, but yeah, that's my goal is to just be like, hey, here's how I run it with my faults and with my oopses and oops, I meant to do that on day two, but maybe it didn't happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? It ended up on day three, um, you know, with my why videos and stuff like that to be able to go through. I'll share my Facebook lives just like I do because when I do something Facebook live and I have parties running, I just share it with a little message into the groups. Um, and stuff like that. Yeah. About your videos. So like your, your why video and your strong closing and all that. Like what do you think about posting that in your outlines? Like this is where I usually put this and then maybe putting your link in there so that they can see that. I'm glad you brought that up because that reminded me because I think I did, I think I did that when I was doing the, um, when I did the prep ahead and the whatever, like the whatever the home office ones, when I was like, here's the four day outline that home office. And I was trying to really do those ones where people had to do the experience thing. I think I was good about explaining some of that stuff. Like, Hey, here's where you should do a live at this. And I haven't been doing that with these other ones because I kind of like did away with, I was like, Oh, I don't like how home office structured it. I think it's too short. You know, I was messing with it. And I think I need, I need to combine the two of them together. Like some of those descriptions that just like you said, like where I say, Hey, I suggest here, Hey, put in your why video. Like I don't have that in these outlines that I've been currently doing. And I definitely need to put those in. So I think that is reminding like, like about even that posting, the next Like even posting your videos in there though, because like Shelly said, I think those people who aren't in those, you know, pace setters and stuff, like they don't fully understand what you mean. Right. When I say that, that's what I'm wondering if I did, if I did that with, let me write that down too with videos. Um, yes, because I think that's one of those, like, I always mean to, and then it's over and I'm like, oh yeah, well I do that naturally and I didn't put it in there. And then, so make sure you holler at me the last week to remind me if I have not figured that out. You guys all know I need hollers. I like hollers. They help me go. Oh yeah. Thank you. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah, Cause I do. I think that's necessary. Cause it is, I mean, we offer, it's offered to everybody, but most people don't take us up on it or can't take us up on these other trainings. And just that visual of just seeing what someone else does is important. Um, okay. Hey, Trina. Yeah. In your post, do you do the, are you going to do, um, the ask me some questions type post? Mm -hmm. Cause there's two mm -hmm. things I was thinking of. One is do you need any of us to kind of be a difficult customer? Um, kind of, cause there are times and parties where you kind of have to shut someone down. You don't have to necessarily like remove them from the group or anything, but then for that. And then the second thing I was thinking is that if we can uh, kind of plant some questions or something for the, um, and that ask me any kind of question, it might help the consultants kind of read into and start to learn who might be leads for businesses or to join the business. And I think okay, that's, so that's what I do. Yes. Let's plant the person that is red flagging themselves and really wants to join, but needs me to ask them. And let's plant the, not like a total jerk, like, Oh my goodness, what's going on. But like, Oh, I had that and it broke, you know, like, or like the, like, Oh, I had one of those years, like, oh, the kitchen spritzer, I had one of those years ago. Is it any better now? Or, like, the reviews on the stone were horrible. You know, like, just someone that might, like, put some of those. They're not trying to be negative, Nancy, but they're just, maybe some of those things are a little bit trickier. Okay, does anybody, let's have it be two separate people, because we don't want to recruit negative, Nancy. I mean, not that we don't, but, like, let's not send that message. Who wants to be the, ooh, 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 I'm really curious, but I'm not real sure that is going to be my red flagger that I'm going to be like her. I want her. You're going to be the person that's also playing, playing all the games also. 
You're going to be the person that's playing and everything, commenting. So you, you would want to be, hey, yep, I can do that for the week. Do I sign one of you? Can I ask you a question? I, yeah. I guess I'm a little confused. <laughs> With your mock party, are we supposed to invite, like, our potentials or the people on our team? This is right. just for our team. Like, okay. our team, like, picture if I was taking our entire team to watch my cooking show. This is, okay. and like, you know, like, at retreat. like what we did at retreat, you guys all pretended to be guests. That's what's going to be happening with the mock party. Yep. So no, like, don't like, they can't, they can't come in if it's not, if they're not a member of Gold Crushers. Yes. Sorry. Thank you for the clarification if that was unclear. But so one of you guys, so we're going to be trying to train our team to spot and like, I'll do like a debriefing training afterwards. Probably like everybody meet and I'm going to tell you some of the things I did. You'll notice, look at what I did here. You know, like, hey, did you notice that Mary was asked, she was playing all of the games, and she was just having a blast, and she was sending me GIFs, and she was asking a lot of questions. Here's what I did. Here's what I did with her. Here are some of the things that I did. Or be like, hey, you notice how Shelly was, she just had some concerns about the product or the quality or in how I responded or how I reassured her or... Here's a snapshot of a message that I, a private message that I sent her or, you know, cause my goal is to also do some private messaging and let them know, like, like I'm going to role play, you know, like, Hey Sally, like, it looks like you are having so much fun. Uh, thank you so much for coming to Jane's party. Um, you know, I hope you have a blast. Enjoy yourself. Let me know if you have any questions, you know, like I'm going to role play a little bit with that. And for the most part, they should be able to see like, what? Oh, Oh, she's probably, she's pretending I'm a customer. You know what I mean? Like hopefully they'll be able to see that a little bit back and forth and we can kind of step in and out. Are any of you, is Sherry Stapleton, any of your girls? Who's Sherry's? Uh, Lisa, will you just send her a message and ask her what she needs for her t-shirt? I think Bridget just sent me a message saying that she needs the form, but I don't know if that means the Google form or what that means. Um, and I want to make sure that Bridget gets everything that she needs tonight because I think she's trying to order everything tonight. Um, okay, so does that make sense, kind of what we're going to do? Okay, so I need someone who's willing to be there. Hey, I'm Chatty Kathy. So excited I'm going to recruit you. What day is it? Um, it's going to run next week. Do you know which day next week, though? Well, it's going gonna, it's like, it's gonna to be a week-long party, just like normal. Like, oh. Yeah. So it's not a certain time. It's just, hey, when you're uh -oh. checking your parties, go in and pretend like you were a guest in this other one. I can. That's fine. Okay, so Mary is my, I'm going to keep my eye on her for recruiting. So you're going to be like, look, I'm competitive. This is so fun. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Um, and then, Shelly, do you want to be my difficult customer? Okay, <laughs> Shelly's going to be my difficult customer. And remember, not too difficult. Like, I can handle it, but, like, we, we don't want them to be like, seriously, who would say that? Okay. Because um, I can run through, like, when I do the debriefing, like, you know, like, yeah, you know, Shelly asked some questions or whatever that were, maybe, you know, I had to word carefully or make sure that it kept that upbeat. Um, but, you know, like, and I can let them know, like, if it's ever anything that's, like, way down under the line, like, I delete it or I remove the person or I let the host know, hey, so-and-so just posted this in your party. Like, I wanted to let you know that I deleted it, but should we remove them? You know what I mean? And I would talk with the host about that so that they're not just like, why'd you remove my sister? <laughs> be like, well, because she's a brat. Um, cause I've I'm thinking like the deep covered baker, like, oh yeah, I bought that like three years ago and I've never used it. Yes. Things like that. Because that they don't mean to, but what that tells everybody right. else that was looking at it, like, oh, that's kind of expensive for something I'll never use. Yeah. You know, but yeah. what it is, is they just haven't had the right consultant follow-up. Or they'd be like, I'm on your team, gay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Does that make sense? Do we, I think this will be helpful. I mean, it's something I've been meaning to do for a long time. And I think I finally have a little, I mean, not dead space, but I'm, I'm, my nose is above water for two seconds until we get to conference. Um, and I really hope that it'll be helpful. And I, I'm hoping it will create some momentum with all of our new consultants that just joined, as well as some of our people that are falling asleep in the summer. Because guys, what your teams are doing now will determine their fall. Okay, it will determine their fall. We all know this, the 90 day rule. Okay, so we need to make sure that they're up and moving. Okay, t-shirts and mugs, as we were just talking about that. Um, I 
hopefully everybody has, it look, I think all of you guys have your t-shirt stuff in, um, it looks like. I'm sorry if that was kind of confusing. I was trying to get that out. Remind me next year that I either just say, here's the shirt, or I delegate it in February. <laughs> Because I think I was like, we kind of hemmed and hawed and like try to get ideas and try to be, and I was like, oh man, and then I think I just, we crunched it too late. Um, I will throw this out, and I don't know how I feel about this. Um, my friend Rachel was like, oh yeah, that's why we just have a team shirt and we just order more that we, like, if someone doesn't have one, then they just order it the next year. It's the same shirt. And I was like, oh, like a little bit brilliant. And I was like, I kind of like that ours, like every year has had like a theme or like a message that we're trying to send for like that year. And I'm like, that's kind of cool. But I was like, oh, that's a lot more work than just being like, hey, everybody, if you need a new team shirt, you know, like, cause you need a new size or yours is faded or you're new to the team, here it is. And they just use it and that's real easy. And I was like, oh. What if you did like the same thing on the front every year and then just change the back? Oh, yeah, that's true. And then, so maybe like for conference, we like spiced them up or something. Well, but then, but then like, okay, so then I have the same shirt and it's just got a different thing in the back. I don't know. Well, like, all the fronts are going to be the same anyway, so when we're standing together, they're all going to be the same, same right. color. Same oh, that's true, so they wouldn't care if... Then you can get a new one if you want. Or I feel like my friend Melody, I think she has, like, a team logo. Like, I like it's like her, like, it's called, like, Team Hot Shots or whatever, like, that's their team logo, and they just know here is what, here is what the shirt is. Um, so kind of like what I, like, I kind of like that set goals and crush them, like that little, that's going on the mugs or whatever. I feel like that's kind of like Gold Crushers and kind of like our little, and then maybe we put a little pamper, I don't know. So maybe we need to figure that out. So again, that's not necessarily anything we're figuring out right now, but I just thought that that was important. Um, but so yes, yeah, so we want to make sure those t-shirts are in. So yes, all of you guys are getting, um, and yeah, sorry, it was confusing with the Google slip. Um, and Bridget should know, and it should be fine, because I had several of you guys say no to Baby Shark but you're actually, yes, you're getting the shark shirt. It's just yours will say mommy shark and be bright pink and it's paid for. <laughs> but she knows I've highlighted them in the Google form that everybody has it and she'll just be using the same t-shirt size, even if you've said no before. So that should be fixed. Um, I think those will be fun and we'll wear those to the director party. Um, okay, for, did you guys all see the agenda that I put in for conference? It's in, I put it in a Google, did I put it in a Google Doc? I think I put it in a Google Doc in the form. It's in the director team page. So it said like, hey, here is, you know, like I spread it out like, hey, here's this, here's when the convention center is open for surprise packs and here's when our team time is. Um, remember all of you have a, a nomination for someone to have a lunch and learn with me. It's during the lunch when we would normally have had a general lunch. You know what I mean? Like, so it's a couple, like it's a day or so into conference, um, which I think will be better because they'll, their wheels will already be spinning and they'll kind of be hyped up and stuff like that. Is um, that the day when we have the weird box lunch? Typically, but we do not have a box lunch. Yes, okay. but there is no box lunch this time. Okay. Okay. They removed that because it costs, like it costs them over $40 per person for that crappy lunch because they had to order through the convention horrible. center. And they were like, here's the deal. They're like, it's, the meals are horrible. And the conference center doesn't care because they know you don't have an option. And then with everybody's dietary needs and stuff like that, they're like, it's just, it's just not worth it. Um, so, okay. So if you will, okay. So yes, if you know who you are sending, which maybe you only have one person. Okay. So Mary picks Bobby Joe. Okay. Do you want to send, okay. Stephanie picks Steph Williams. You don't have to have it picked right now, but if you want to, Lisa picks a Lisa. Melinda Combs. And then Diana, do you have someone to pick? There's, there's a girl, there's, there's a girl. Who's coming on your team? Who is it? There's somebody. So are all these girls get to go with you or now we have to pick one? No, I, you all get to pick one and I will, I'm taking all six of these girls out to lunch. Aww. And they're all, all going to have lunch together. Yep. So that means Mary, you and I are having lunch together because our girls will be with Trina. That's great. <laughs> we can just order in. 
That's <laughs> Rob Hub. And then if you guys will take Rob Hub and alcohol. <laughs> I only have like I have um I have two gals on my personal team that are coming. I'm gonna invite both of them because it's me. It's fine. They're mine. I'm gonna make them both come with me. Um but I just thought this was one of the things that like when we were promoting to executive team, this was one of the things I was looking forward to most. And then they did away with the executive tables. And then this year they did away even with the launch. And I was like, dag nabbit, I'm bringing it back somehow. So I was like, I, and they're giving us a large enough block of time that I should be able to make a reservation for eight people or whatever, get us to the restaurant and be able to sit down and go through. Lynette, awesome. Um, okay, awesome. So I've got Bobby Joe, Steph Williams, Elisa Williams, Melinda Combs, and Lynette. I got everybody's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So if you, so you guys can let them know. Well, here, okay, here's a question. Would you like, would you like to let them know? Or do you want me to say, hey, you have been invited by your director? Is it more special coming for me? It's hard for me to picture me being so special, but I feel like that's supposed to hold power of some sort. You're okay. pretty special. I think everybody would be excited thinking that they were randomly selected, a randomly selected few, even though it's everybody that's going, but they don't need to know that. <laughs> it's, not, it's, not, it's not everybody that's going, but some of them will know like, oh, I'll be like, we, you were chosen by, you know, like you were chosen by the leadership team to have a special whatever. Um, so I can order it that way instead of like, well, your director only had one person, so you were it. Um, because we do want it to seem exclusive. Um, and like, I mean, Stephanie's a... Um, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, okay. I was wondering if, that's what I was trying to remember, Stephanie, if Carol personally invited. Because I got to nominate, and I couldn't remember if I told Stephanie that she got to go or if Carol did. Okay. Carol um, emailed me and I freaked out. <laughs> okay, awesome. Okay, so that's good. And I'll even, because I think, um, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to uh, do a little mailing even so that they get a little, like, a little special invite or whatever. Um, for that so that they know that it's going through. Cause I think that that'll kind of set up a part again. I mean, it's just me, but it, for some people that'll matter. <laughs> um, so I'm, again, you know, working with you guys and working with our teams is my favorite part. So I just thought that that was a way that a fun way that I can kind of spoil, um, the girls on your guys' teams a little bit, hopefully feed into them. Cause these are probably, you know, I mean, look at all these names. I'm like, yep, these are our future leaders. You know what I mean? This could be what fire, you know, like after a couple of days of that, being able to sit down with a couple of like-minded people like that and to kind of just have that one on, you know, like that small group time or whatever might light that fire to get them coming back. And hopefully that'll get you guys some director promotions when we come back. Um, cause yeah, um, Stephanie came back and promoted two and a half weeks later, I think from that, from that lunch with Carol. Um, she was like, I think I'll do it next week. And she was like, I told Carol I'm doing it this month. So now I have to get it done this month. I was like, yeah, that's right. And it was funny because she was telling me all about how, oh, it won't happen this month. It's okay. And I knew she was going to lunch with Carol. I'm like, she's going to promote this month. Because she doesn't know it yet, but this is going to happen. Okay, so that's the lunch and learn that is coming up. Um, oh, let me check my notes again. Yes, my random brain does have notes sometimes. Mugs. Oh, mugs. Stephanie, do we have everything we need from the mugs? Yes, I think so. Um, once I get them all ordered and find out what colors we can do the lettering, I'll message each of you guys and find out which color lettering you want for your mugs then. But until next week. Um, okay, great. And then those, and they'll be ready in time. We're just bringing them with in our van, right? Yes. Okay. Um, perfecto. Okay, so t-shirts and mugs are done. Okay, let's take a... Um, Oh, Can sorry. I say, yeah, can I say something? I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. Um, I, Stephanie, I did a little Google um, searching about that cup, and um, most of the reviews um, said that the ones that are colored tend to flake more readily than the plain stainless steel. So I don't know if that mm -hmm. matters. Um, mm -hmm. But when I, when I filled out your Google form, I just chose stainless steel for mine. But Yeah, I have, because my friend does them, so I have a ton of different mugs and water bottles and coffee cups and everything and actually these ones I picked because they're um the best ones and these ones the color does not flake off of oh so you have one you have one of these yourself already I do so oh I that's good to know posted one in a comment so Trina the one that you picked is the metallic teal yeah and that's the color that I posted um, okay. 
This awesome. is the one that the color does not flake off of. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, first of all, Lisa, thank you for being diligent and checking that out and sharing that. And then that's good to know that you have it in your policy. So you're not like, oh crap. And then does her stuff stay on or is it going to be like three weeks and it's like peeling off and sad? Uh, so it comes off of like coffee mugs pretty easily. Um, but again, this one, it does not come off of. Okay. You can't throw it in the dishwasher either. You have to hand wash it. Right. So I want to make sure that we tell people that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then I think that those will be fun. And then again, don't feel that you have to give away the farm. Figure out what you guys want to do with your teams. I do highly, I mean, it sounds like everybody's giving everybody at least a mug. I think it's made it sound like everybody's going through, so that's great. Um, I just always tell people, if you're, like, I think last year, I was like, here's the deal. You're not mandated to give your team bags, but your team is going to watch everyone else get a bag, and they're going to feel real sad if they don't get anything. You know what I mean? Like, even if it wasn't, like, again, not that it had to be fancy or big. The mug is a very nice gift, so don't feel like, you know, like, maybe stick a thing of Kleenex in it or, so, you know, if you're going, oh, God, I'm spending all this money or whatever. Um, don't panic too much about that. Um, I typically like to give things that um, they'll use at conference. You know what I mean? Like Kleenex, a highlighter, an extra pen, some gum, you know, I don't know, something like that. I like it with this one because we have the water bottles. I might put um, some little like crystal light packets, you know, I think, you know, something like that I might do or whatever. Um, but yeah, don't ever feel, but it is the fact that you guys are all doing something for your teammates. They'll, they'll love it. Okay. Some of their favorite things. I remember when I went and the first conference I went to and Tamara opened up the back of her van and she just even had like little spiral notebooks and pens and like a piece of candy or whatever. And I was like, oh, look how fun that is. Like it was just about, it was about the action and the th fact that she planned ahead of more than anything. Um, okay. What do your teams need? When you sit there and think, Gall, I need help with this, what is it? And let's chit chat about that for a little while. I'm just gonna keep eating candy. For okay, me, so I'll go um, first. I'm, I'm sorry, did I walk on Stephanie? No, go ahead. Um, yeah, Mary, um, I, I agree. I think sometimes I know what they need, but it's like they don't want what they need kind of thing. Um, so we do all these new consultant trainings and all of that, and I go in there every single time, and um, there's and, and I'm like, where's my team? You know, I've sent them the uh, a personal invitation, you know, all of that. So I don't know what... I think it's probably more what I need. I need to know how to convince them what they need. And then I know I can't make them do it. Um, but I need to know how to help them see what they need because they don't know. I don't think. Do you feel like that feeling is most with your newer consultants or like everybody? Um, well, I must say, um, the the new consultants that have come on you know this this month last month they seem to be more eager so that's very refreshing um and i know some will some won't all that um but you got a good batch this time <laughs> yeah and that kind of comes and goes too as the ebb and flow but um <laughs> i don't know I, Sometimes I feel like I don't get my message across or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I would just like to see more people participate. In all, and, I, and I really um, focus on the fact that this is free training for their very own business kind of thing, knowing that some of them don't really view it as a business kind of thing. Um, but, you know, it would just be great to see more of them on. Okay. I don't No, that's good. Yeah. Um, Recruiting is everything. Yes, but. Right. Stephanie, what were you going to say? I was going to say recruiting. I mean, I have a couple girls who really want to promote, and I'm not the best at recruiting, so I struggle with how to work with them and what to tell them. And what's kind of and so from and with the recruiting, my guess is probably just those responses, kind of like we talked about the big ask. 
like the screenshots and stuff like that. I think we could kind of talk about a little last one. Probably just those responses is my guess. Yeah, I mean, like for Rachel Donay, like her is, it's the responses. But for Stephanie, it's, I guess, yeah. even starting those conversations. Okay. Um, here, should we just go around Brady Bunch now? Miss Diana. Are you still there? There you go. What do you and your team need? I just need to be able to be a better director and know what I'm doing. <laughs> Psst, that's me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, um, kind of like a, not necessarily a checklist, but like a, comp, like, am I doing the right things? Am I giving the right? Yeah. Type yeah. Of, like, is this right? Like, I'm. Is this is this what we're doing? Okay, that's good. Awesome. Miss Mary. Ambition and everybody. What does that mean? I'm saying that I'm my team is lacking ambition and not just one of them, like every single one of them. I send out a message to let them know what's going on for the month, sales and all that stuff and ask them if I can help them with anything and I get one reply from Jackie every single time. <laughs> I love Jackie. I, put I know. If I could. Um, okay, so if you can't change your team, Change your team. <laughs> that will be the that will be the first piece of advice that, that I will give. <laughs> but um, yes, no. So then, okay. So we need okay. So ambition. So how do we? And I will say, just like I said, piggybacking with that man. I mean, my team was they were dead in the water. I felt like for a while, um, we just went through a really crazy and then I absorbed some director teams and then it was even more awkward because then it was like, there's even more dead people because they weren't working with their team for however long and now they're all mine. And how do I get all these people to now go together? Um, and in the last two or three months I've been able to get more recruits and guys, they do, they just bring so much new life. Okay, even if it's just one person that's suddenly excited and getting a 1250, like they don't know the rest of your team sex. And so like they're in there posting and excited or whatever and it does, it brings so much energizing to you guys. So I know sometimes it's like, Ugh. but like if you ever feel, one piece of advice I can give is if you ever feel like you're in that goal, I can't get any of them to do spot, shift your focus to finding new people. I mean, and that sounds bad because again, you guys, I do not mean that in the spot of like, who cares about what they're doing, but the moment that you feel that their lack of energy is dragging you down with them, then you need to be able to take that step away and go to the new people. There's a difference between like, man, the, man my team's in a funk this month. Like, what can I do to, to rile them up? And when you can feel yourself being like, you know, like resenting going to work with them, resenting having to message them, resenting sending them another reminder message that they're not going to show up to. You know what I mean? When you can start feeling that part of you, take that step back and start being like, okay, our own oxygen mask on first, go find some new recruits that are going to give you some life, that are going to get you energized. And then, you know, and just work with those, those top consultants. Um, but I think that's, you know, that idea of how do we get how do we get that energy and that that going into it? Um, okay, awesome. Thanks, Mary. Uh, Miss Shelley. Oops, where are you? I'm kind of between, I don't know. I've got some people that are really, they're rock stars. Like they are doing a wonderful, wonderful job. Um, they're enthusiastic. They're doing what they need to, um, which is awesome. I do have some people that are starting to slack a little bit and I keep watching. Um, so I think some of them just need that renewed energy. Like they need that renewed, um, Hey, let's get your head, you know, get back in the game. What's holding you back kind of thing. I mean, we talked about that a little bit. Um, but I'm just trying to think like, sometimes I feel like I'm not giving them the right message to encourage them. And I'm like everybody else. You want to work with the people who are super awesome um, and are doing a great job and encouraging them. But at the same time, I don't want to leave those other people kind of 
behind, but at the same time, I don't think I really know how to work with them. I mean, they're kind of the, kind of the C's. I don't want to ignore them completely. Um, I have a couple that are Eeyores. I don't know how to work with an Eeyore very well because I'm a Winnie the Pooh or Tigger. I don't know whoever's exciting. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Um, but um, I got to go back to my student affairs background for that. Um, but I, it's just one of those, I know, it's the colors, I'm orange. Um, I, <laughs> I, I think that's kind of the biggest thing. I'm sorry. Um, I think that's kind of the biggest thing. I just... I keep trying to watch them and, and try to see what they need. I know another thing that my team seems to struggle with is I was having really good attendance at my team meeting, and now I feel like nobody really comes to my team meetings. Um, I don't know if it's because I record them and they think I'll just catch it later um, so they don't see the value in that, or I'm not sure. My incentive charts seem to be working really well, but I'm not sure about the other. Awesome. Okay. So – I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to try to develop some things based off this or just some of the things that I'm going to be looking at. Um, the common theme that I see or like what I'm seeing when I'm hearing this is uh, it's the struggle with uh, will versus skill, I think is what a lot of these different things are coming into. And I think what's really, really hard to see as leaders is we just, we kind of assume that it's will. Because we know that all the resources are out there. Like, if you would just come to a freaking training, you would have the words to use. Or, like, if you would just spend 30 minutes during the month, you know, you would have a booking. And a lot of times it's hard for us to see what, you know, we need to see what they're missing. Well, you know what you're missing? You're missing uh, the going to the training and the being plugged in. And then you would have all these resources. Um, and so we assume that a lot of it is attached to that. Um, but what we need to remember when we're dealing at the consultant level, especially like the hobby consultants, you know, I mean, like that's a taboo word, even like I try not to even use that, but like, that's what somebody like, Oh, I just do this for fun. Okay. Um, well, hobbies are things that we do when we find extra time. Right? I mean, like, that's what we do when we find extra time. Like, oh, you know what? I'm not doing anything this weekend. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to scrapbook. That'll be fun. Okay? Like, and honestly, how many weekends like that does anybody have? You know what I mean? Like, I'm bored. I need something to do. You know what I'll do? I'll, I'll, I'll find a booking. But that's the mentality that they have. Um, but they aren't going to approach it that way um, if they don't have any skills, even if they do have the time. And I think what's hard is um, what I've been really trying to work on with my team when I've been reaching out is asking them uh, a straight out, hey, you know, like I noticed, like even people, let me see if I can find some of the texts that I sent out to people that were inactive uh, for month two. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find the wording that. Oh, okay. Cause I'd said, I basically sent a, Hey, you were inactive last month. Do you, sorry, let me find the words again. I said, Hey, it's Trina. I saw that you were inactive in June and just wanted to touch base to see if you needed any help getting something going for your July. So these are people that were only like, they're in month two of inactivity. Okay. So this is where they would lose their career sales. Cause this is where um, home office was telling us that 80% of people that go inactive two months in a row, like they're not coming back. So this is the time to catch them. Okay. They've had one off month either because they just took off and didn't do whatever, or they couldn't get bookings. And so now they're discouraged. We need to get them back in that month too. So this is a good place to focus your energy. And I said, I'd love to help you figure out bookings so we can get you some extra cash and maybe even some free for all. I think it's really important for them to know that it's not just, hey, are you going to go get some bookings? Because they don't know how to get bookings. Or they think they have convinced themselves that they have tried. Their well is dry. They've tried it all. And again, we know, no, you sent out seven messages. Send one out to someone that you think will say no. Try a boy. Hey, you know that person that you think doesn't have any money? Try them. Okay. Hey, that cousin you haven't talked to in a while? Why not? Okay. You know, like that coworker that you just don't even know why you accepted their friend request, go and send them a message. You know what I mean? Like just some of these things, like they think, they think that they have limited themselves 
and they have put the cap on it and it's done. And you guys, I want you guys to remember, one of your main jobs as a director, like Diana was talking about like, hey, I need to know, am I doing the right thing? Your main job is to breathe belief into them until they believe it themselves. We think it's all about training, different things like that. Like your job is to make them believe that they can do it. And when we walk alongside them and just ask, hey, do you need some help? Do you know, like, would you like some bookings? Okay. I ask them that. Well, do you want some booking? You know, because they might respond to that. Oh, I don't have anything on my calendar for this month. And then I'll respond. Would you like to have something? Okay. And they have the option to say yes or no. I had some people be like, you know what? I actually have a lot going on in my family and I actually rescheduled my July shows for August and I'm okay with that. Awesome. I will check with you at the end of the month to see if you need any help setting that up, you know, and then I can chit chat with them about what they have going on or whatever. Okay. So some people do respond with no, but most people, oh, well, I'd love some bookings. They don't want to not have shows on their calendar. A lot of times we assume that they just don't want to work. Like if you gave them, if you said, here, here's the bookings hat, you can take as many as you want. How many you want? Like they're free. Just, just grab them. Our people would grab bookings out of the hat. Okay. And so a lot of times we have to figure out how do they find that hat? Okay. One, we need to find the hat ourselves. <laughs> okay. You know, we talk about that, our own oxygen mask. If we don't have a hat, um, I'll be doing the booking blitz. Um, my plan is I think I have the 20, do I have it on the 25th scheduled? I think I plan on doing it on the 25th. I know that's not our new normal schedule, but I just had to try to get that figured out or whatever and I would do it. Um, and a couple of you guys said you would watch. Um, the main thing of doing a booking blitz with your team is that they see that you are there also working alongside them and just crying them when they do something great and being like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We got this. They start to get, they get that feeling that they're not alone. Okay. Remember that when they go and ask for bookings, they are going to get faced with a lot of rejection. Okay. It might be soft rejection. It might be hard rejection. But when you ask someone to go in to get bookings alone, you are asking them, I want you to go in front of the firing squad. Ready, go. And some people don't have enough belief in themselves to be willing to do that. Okay. Same thing with recruiting. You're asking them to go in front of the firing squad. And if they struggle with self-confidence or they're afraid or whatever, like, like it's really intimidating to them. So coming along beside them, that's why I love guys with the recruiting. That's why I love the screenshots. Okay. Having them screenshot. And again, same thing. If you guys are thinking, I don't feel comfortable myself. Okay. Send me your screenshots. Let me help you train. Okay. One thing I have always been good at has been recruiting. Okay. I might struggle in a lot of other areas. Sales has never, like, I'm never going to be somebody that they ask to talk about their high sales. And you know, that's just not, that's not going to be me. Okay. But I, for some reason I have correct words to say. <laughs> so, you know, so being able to train and some of that just comes from experience, but like, if they know I, okay, Trina told me how to start this conversation. And then before I even need to reply, you know, like, you know, like I can send, you know, Shelly a snapshot of their response and I don't have to do this alone. I'm not in front of the firing squad anymore. I've got a teammate and we're standing here. We're going to have a conversation. Okay. I just need, she's going to feed me what to say. Okay. But because they're the ones using their words, they're getting the skills because they're going back in and copying and pasting and they're getting the reaction. And honestly, they know when they see that screenshot of someone, they know, here's what I would say. I wonder if it's right. And then they can either get confirmed or redirected by what we would tell them. Okay. Um, but we think so much, because again, if we remember that it's in front of that firing squad every time, and some of those people, you know, with everything else they have going on, they just can't take one more person telling them that their dreams are going to fail. Because their dream might have to do with their marriage. Their dream might have to do with a different relationship. Their dream might have to do with their current job. Okay. Their dream might have to do with what their mother told them when they were little. You know what I mean? Those are the things that they're dealing with. And if we can grab hold of those as directors and as a leadership team and make them so that they don't have to walk that alone. Okay. If I can do that with you guys to make you guys feel like you don't have to walk that alone. Okay. That empowers you and it strengthens you and it gets your team going where they need to be. And then when they feel empowered, you know what? They want to come to a team meeting because they feel connected. They feel supported. Okay. People come to team meetings. Um, we think it's for the training. It's not. They come because they feel like they're part of something. 
Okay. And that's the reason why sometimes you're like, why does this person who hasn't done a show for five months come to every training? I don't understand. Like they have, they're, they're not doing any shows. They're not doing any of the things we're training on. <laughs> like, why are they still coming? Because they want that connection. They want that partnership and they want that relationship. They want somebody to be feeding, you know, that's, that's our job. That's what we do. Okay. And it is one of the most difficult things to do because we're like, we have a job to do. We need some results out of you. Okay. We love people for free, but you have to earn my time. Okay. But part of that loving them for free is offering them your time. If they're going to come alongside with you. Okay. You know, if they say, yeah, I would love some bookings. I'll say, great. Here's a message to send out. Um, and I can tell some of them don't ever, they say, okay, thanks. Okay. And some of them don't ever come back. Um, I have for the people that have been responding to me being like, you know what, I would love to come back, but I just don't know. Okay. I've been offering, Hey, you know what? Do you want a party this month? It's been five months since you posted. Do you want to host your own mystery host party? Do you want me to post for it using my scent share? Because here's the deal. A lot of your people that are dying or off that maybe wish they could, they don't have a send share account anymore. Or they don't have an updated outline to, outline to just batch post. Okay. They don't have, they, you know, the last one they did was at Christmas time. And they're not going to repost their holiday baking one. That's not very relevant, right? Okay. So when you say, well, here, do you want me to just batch post to send, you know, a grilling and chilling one for you? Okay. I've had several people on my team take me up on it and say, you know what? Sure. You know, that would actually be great. Okay. And some of them don't even take me up fully on it. I offer it. And then they say, you know what? That'd be great. And then they're like, actually, I got it. I got it. You know, I've got it. I've got it going. It's going to start tomorrow. All they needed was to know that I was walking alongside them. So, you know, as you're dealing with some of those people on your team, think through some of the, and again, not everyone do not drag the dead body. I'm not talking about the dead body. I'm talking about the poor person that's lying on the side of the road that if you say, do you want some help? They would say, thank you for noticing me. Yes, I would love some help. Okay. Um, and then offering it to them. Um, so I will try to figure out some, um, some good things to go, some practical steps and some practical trainings that we can kind of do as we lead up to some stuff that might help with that. But hopefully that perspective will help you guys a little bit too. Um, does that make sense? Questions, comments? Trina, you're crazy. Kenny. Now I'm gonna go into a little bit more logistical thing that got a little bit more love see. No. Why is my clock up here? And the well for to determine the difference is challenging. Those messages. Mm -hmm. And like I said, and guys, ask them a question that is very clear that you expect a response and you deserve a response. Okay. Just like I don't say, Hey, I have some openings in July. If you want to do a party, let me know. Really? You're not getting a booking. Okay. If you send a message to your teammate, Hey, I just wanted to check in. How are you doing? If you need some help, let me know. They're not letting you know. Okay. Like think of the, okay. Think of the person who just had um, a new baby or that has someone in the hospital or something like that. And you're like, Oh God, that is just awful. You know what? If you need something, you just let me know. Okay. I'll, I'll come help. Okay. You know what they want? Just bring them food. Just bring it to them. Don't ask them. Just go bring them some food. <laughs> and I feel like, like they'll say, that's great. Okay. Bring them their favorite chocolate bar. I don't know. Okay. Say, you know what? Do you want me to pick the kids up from school today? But that, you know, like, is that okay? I'm going to do that. Is that fine? Or you know what? Can you bring that, bring all the kids over to my house before? Okay. Um, those are the things that are those helpful. It's the same perspective. Okay. That let me know, or that like real, I left the ball in your court. Cause again, there's a difference, you know, that love them for free. They earn your time. Don't leave them ball, the ball in their court where they expect it to be fine sitting there. Be like, I need to know, am I passing this to you? Yes or no. And make them answer and respect their answer and then move on accordingly. Okay. Um, it's like a chess game. Every chess move that you make, if they don't respond, then you're done with the game. Um, Okay, I wanted to mention some Facebook changes and touch some base on this because this is going to completely change how we are host coaching people. If you guys have not noticed, um, and I do not have all the information with them, but there are two seem to be two major changes that are happening with um, Facebook groups. Okay, one you'll notice. Remember, some of us are like, "How come it lets me pin a post in one and then it makes it an announcement in another?" I finally saw a notification come up on mine where it's like, "Hey, like everything is announcements." 
I'm not entirely sure how that works, but we need to make sure that we are using that terminology when we are host coaching. You know, be like, hey, this is in the announce, you know, like even in the outlines and stuff, like, hey, this is in the announcement. And I think you can have multiple announcements instead of just one pin post. Okay, so maybe you can have an announcement. You can do another announcement of like, hey, here's her, you know, link again. Here's the guest special. I don't know. Okay, so there's different ways to layer that. So I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of that change. And it shows up differently because instead of saying view pin post, it's just under like about discussion, photos, announcements. So they have to click to find that. Okay, so that just, that operates a little bit differently. Also, groups are starting to change how you add people to them, okay? So we go in and we automatically add them, but, and I don't think, it hasn't completely changed over yet, but I've been noticing a little like, that's weird. How come I had to accept the invitation to the group before you can make me an admin? Like, and I've been noticing that with some of my new, new consultants or things like that that I'm posting from, okay? And it looks like it's because they are making it so that you have to go in and actually see the notification and click OK, which is very similar to what events were like when you had to click, you know, that you were going in order to get some of those notifications. OK, so you can automatically add them, but they go into what's called preview mode. Have you guys seen this? Let me see if I can let me pull up on my party so I can. OK. Um, um, Okay. It says these people have been invited to join the group, but have not yet accepted. They have been let, well, notified and are currently in preview mode. And so these people have been added, okay, but they have no idea we have a party going on. <laughs> okay, they're not in the group. If they search for it, I don't even know if they can find it. Okay. Um, I think this is part of where we've been running into some of that trouble where, you know, people are like, I thought I added a hundred people. What's going on? I think it's just all of that, all of the algorithms that have been shifting over the last month where Facebook is getting to this point with it. I think that's where we run into some of it. Um, but here is where it's going to, it needs to shift our host coaching. You know, those 40 VIP messages that we send out that is probably the first step that we all skip. I'll admit it. I skip it all the time. Okay. Um, to get, because I'm like, they're already added. You know what I mean? Like it's that first step that might get skipped in the groups. It's going to become increasingly important. Okay. And in the host coaching outline that I have, it has send them this message and it includes the group link. Okay. And so if you get your host to copy and paste this to their friends, okay, then their friends are going to be able to very easily click on the group and hit join. Okay, um, but if we do not know that this is happening and we do not tell our teams that this is happening and our hosts do not know that their guests are not seeing it, okay, we're gonna see party sales plummet. Okay, and we're gonna see group attendance plummet. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that you guys saw that that was going on if you have not already. Has anybody noticed that already or knew that? Or have anything maybe more knowledge? Um, I, I noticed it in... I noticed it in the last show that I did. It showed me who had accepted and who had not. Mm -hmm. um, when I first started, it did that kind of in that same way where you could see not whether it, it would show you so and so joined on this day. Um, and I actually like that because I can tell the host who has seen the notification and who she needs to send a special message to. So I kind of like that, actually. I mean, I like that. I think that it's, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just if we are unaware of it, it's real bad. <laughs> if we don't know that that's an issue. Like I had, for example, I had a friend, um, I had a friend do a party. She used to rock out Jamberry when they were super popular or whatever, a little while ago or whatever. She made tons of money or whatever, and she hasn't done it for a while now. But she did virtual parties. She was just rocking them out. So she thought she knew how to do it. She did a virtual party with me a year plus ago or whatever, rocked out a great party. Okay. Well, she did one for me a few months back. Okay. And she was like, yeah, I got this. She was like MIA. Like she added the people right away and then was kind of gone. And I think she kind of knew like, oh, Trina will do her thing. Like it'll be fine. Like, and then she came back in and I was trying to tell her, I'm like, I'm like, Ashley, like I, what I was telling you is I'm like, that's not how Facebook works anymore. Like if you're not in there, they're not even seeing the post. And she was like, oh, like she was used to winding the clock up and letting it run. 
you know, and I was like, it's not, it's not letting us do that anymore. I need you in there. Um, and she was like, Oh God, I didn't know. And I'm like, well, that's why I was trying to get you on the phone, honey, to tell you these things. Okay. Um, but she thought she knew what was going on, that she did her job and that it was hands off and it was probably good to go. And she, you know, she just, she hadn't been in the business knowing some of those Facebook things that are going on. Um, I, I will let you guys know I have been talking with home office a lot. Um, and it sounds like if you guys looked at, is that an executive or is that in the stir? Hmm. I think you guys know this piece of information, um, that they're doing some, they're going to be doing some social media training and how to market yourself and things like that or whatever is coming to consultants corner. And again, guys, man, there's so much information on there and it is, it's super overwhelming, but just at least knowing that it's out there. So if we want to focus on it, we can, or if that's something that you guys um, want to be able to do with your teams. Um, but it is important for us to try to keep up on those Facebook changes and to make sure that we are letting our teams know that. Okay. And remember, just because I say in goal crushers doesn't mean any of them heard it. Okay, I think we talked about that last month or whatever, like you guys saying it individually in those group messages or in your groups or in your quick tip and clarifications or team meetings or whatever you're having, okay, plays a really big role in that. Um, the other thing that I want to encourage you guys and ask a question of, is anybody an Instagram guru on here? Who is an Instagram person? No, Shelly's making a face. Is this like, I'm not volunteering for anything. Well, we use Instagram for Fusion Gates all the time, so it's not like a big giant. We don't have a huge following, but I'm pretty familiar with it. Okay, because here's what I, like, we need to learn Instagram. Yeah, we do. Like, because Facebook, we need to. And, and to keep, and keep, Facebook owns Instagram. Yes. So they're friends. Okay, just like, just like Google owns YouTube. Mm -hmm. So... And everything is, um, Facebook is starting to put more money into Instagram than they are Facebook because they're seeing people shift because that trust that people had in Facebook is shifting um, mm -hmm. and people aren't using it as much, but they'll go to Instagram because it seems less intimidating. It's very visual. They've rolled out stories that you can do now um, and things like that. I, I don't think that they have the, the group or anything like that that you can do, but people are using Instagram a lot more and they're actually predicting more people to be on Instagram soon than there are on Facebook. And the, some of the new features that Instagram has rolled out um, make it a lot more like, hey, yep, this is now worth learning, as well as because they coordinate with each other. Like, just like we said, like Google owns YouTube, so Facebook doesn't want us going to YouTube. It's fine with us going to Instagram. It's the same money. You know what I mean? Like, so they're not going to be blocking the same types of things and think in our outlines and stuff like that, or, you know, like we have, we're sending them to a YouTube. If I'm, you know, like me doing a Facebook live or an Instagram video or something like that in there to go through, I'm the first to say, I don't, I don't even have an Instagram account. I don't know anything about it because it's one of those things that I've been like, Oh Lordy, I, I, it's not, it hasn't been a priority for me to learn and I know I'll get sucked in. <laughs> you know, I was worried. I'm like, I'm already on Facebook. Is it another thing to learn? But I think it's going to be turning into a thing where it's going to be very valuable for us to learn. Um, and so that's just something that I'm like, I am going to be trying to figure out how to learn that in the next couple months. And I didn't know if that's something that we should be, Hey, we have a director, just show us, Hey, if you want to do an Instagram account, here's, I mean, these are things that we could probably find on YouTube. Again, if you just Google YouTube, how to make an Instagram or how to tag, <clears throat> but you know, some of these things that are good for our marketing, um, or, um, if we, even if we find a team leader or a senior consultant or someone say, Hey, would you be willing to do a train? You know, let them step up. You know, if they're a Instagram person, they might really love it. Like, I feel like, like, uh, Stephanie, isn't uh, Rebecca Bergener, isn't she big on Instagram? Like she's yeah. big and all over the place. Look, she goes in spurts. Right. But, she, but I feel like she would be one that like, she has the knowledge and would probably be she like, oh, ask me. Yeah. Um, but so, you know, like maybe Rachel's going on there quite a bit too. Mm. Oh yeah. She like, and she's good at mark. She's, she has a good presence of mind with marketing and stuff like that too. Um, mm -hmm. Instagram for their parties. I don't think so. Cause I don't, and again, I don't know how they talk to each other. There is, I will let you guys know. I attended a mock party for this thing called squee, I think. Um, it was, it was really fun. It's designed for like one hour, like live parties, like where you log in, put in the code to the party and you're in there. And it like 
almost goes through like an interactive slideshow with the chat and like you can play games and stuff like that and like there's a magic eight ball that you can click on and it'll shake and give you an answer to the game or like a discount or things like that it was really really fun because we are we're trying to figure out here's the deal facebook doesn't like that we're making money while we're in here i don't know why they care because they're they're making money too but they're just we need to make sure that if something ever happens with you know like events got shut down for our team that wasn't that big of a deal because i trained you guys to groups for other executive teams it crippled them it crippled them for a month or so okay um and so but we don't want to get to the point where suddenly facebook figures it out like i'm not going back to work so i gotta figure something out and if i can at least make sure that i we are always staying presence of mind of kind of what's going on i think that that'll be helpful so i just i wanted to make sure that you guys knew what those facebook changes were and to put that Instagram bug in your ear, don't panic if you're like, oh goodness, I'm not ready to learn that yet. But I just wanted at least kind of like, it's been in my ear for a long time. And I'm like, nah, crap, I think I need to learn it. Um, so I'm going to kind of be doing some field case out to see if there's going to be an appropriate time for us to figure that out. Or honestly, maybe even, maybe even a conference. Have us all be like, hey, let's meet tonight in Trina's suite. And we're going to have like an impromptu Instagram training. We can all, you know, hang out or whatever, snacks or whatever, do something like that. That might be a good way for, to get all of us kind of on the same page. And like Rachel Donay is going to be there, you know, some of these other people, whatever that'll be, you know, Shelly, you'd be able to kind of walk us around. That might be a good thing with that. Um, let me think. That was my list. That was my whole list. I have a question. Yes. Um. For conference, um, I know that Mary had mentioned maybe sometime um, back doing a scavenger hunt or is there something that we can do for our consultants that are going to be there that are doing other things? I felt like last year as a newbie, I kind of felt lost when everyone else, you know, when the directors were doing their thing and that was the only people I knew and I was like, what do I do and who do I talk to and how do I meet up with people for dinner? So I didn't know, I know that we talked about a conference group or something, um, and I don't think we actually recreated it, but I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how do we help our consultants have a good experience after the training is over where they can meet up with each other and at least have dinner, like when we're going to our things and things like that. I do like that. Okay. And I forgot, and you know what, even with that, when I was trying to figure out if we should be doing a group i forgot how much that was used for like hey we're all downstairs anybody want to go somewhere <laughs> um what am i looking where is we did that but i don't think that we had everybody on a list so i think some people were kind of left out and i feel like we kind of have we do have a small conference group this year right we do we we have 19 people registered including me wow that is really small that's so a lot you take out what the six of us are there any other directors that are going to be there that aren't with us and will be there and will be there too and, and so that's seven so that takes out eight of us mm -hmm. so i don't know what do you guys think do we need to i don't know if we need to do a meet and greet or have them set up something maybe when we do our team meeting with you or something i don't know yes let me pull this up so we can see oops i'm going to screen share the agenda so we can look at this quick So six o'clock is our team time, six to seven thirty. Um, top performers reception, which will be the top. What just happened? Where'd it go? What's going on? Are we all still there? Did I just disappear? Am I back? What just happened? That was weird. <laughs> okay, that was really weird. Okay, so that is a good question. How do we, I mean like some, like some, the hotel rooms will take care of some of that, where hopefully they'll have like, at least like, hey, they've got their buddy. 
you know, their roommate or whatever you go through. But how do we make sure, like I said, last year there was a lot more like, not that we had cool kids and not cool kids, but we had like extroverts and then people who were like, I don't know anybody, I'm going to go hide in my room. <laughs> Lisa's like, and that was me. Um, because I had an awesome dinner with a bunch of people that I dragged out of their hotel rooms last year. Like everybody else had gone and made plans. And then I was like, Hey, I don't want to go anywhere because I'm pregnant and I'm tired. And I finally have an hour who wants to come eat with me. And we all went up downstairs. Um, and that worked I like that. That worked really well. But you, yes, with a group that large, you could tell it was a lot of people that either hadn't gotten a personal invite to be shoved or they were like, eh, I'd rather not go with a really big group. Um, so do we think like, should we start like a group message can get super overwhelming with that many people. Um, but a group maybe wouldn't make it and then they could at least see all the team members and message them that were in there. You know what I mean? Like, even if they wanted to kind of connect with them. Um, but what would be a good, I don't know, meet and greet afterwards or do we put someone in charge or tell them to all go hang out somewhere? Because we're going to be, you guys are going to be at the, the reception. Just telling you that right now. You guys are all there. Surprise. So for our team members, that first night, they're going to be forced to go hang out and figure something out, which is yeah. good. It's very good for them. But how do we do that so that they don't feel abandoned and that they feel excited to maybe go do some team time? Do, um, are we going to do that? Sorry, Mary, go ahead. I was going to say, maybe we can give them some suggestions on where to eat. You know what I mean? Like other places that are close by that they can just walk to. Cause I know that was like one of the things, like I was with Sarah last year and she's like, where do you want to go eat? My boyfriend told me this place. My boyfriend told me this place. I'm like, well, that's fine. We'll go wherever you want. And right. she was annoyed because I didn't know where to go. Cause <laughs> she had all these suggestions, you know what I mean? So it's like, maybe if we had a few ideas for them to go to, like I've been writing down stuff, but it seems like a lot and I don't really know exactly how far away it is from the hotel. Mm -hmm. I can do, I can do, you know, I put the addresses and the places that their phone numbers and if they deliver and stuff. But it might be a little bit too much. But you know what I mean? Like maybe if they had a few suggestions on places close by from the hotel where they could go have certain foods because that's kind of an option. So then you're not like, well, we'll just sit at the hotel and eat. Right. You know, I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah, because like honestly, and so maybe even if I did like last year, I did in the conference group, I did like a, hey, here's what's going to be in your pack and here's how to put your badge together. So maybe if we did a group and I did something like that, and then I also did a, hey, here's what's going to happen the first night you're there, okay? Your directors are going to, we're all going to abandon you, and you will have to act like adults and make friends. <laughs> but this pizza place is awesome. Go down the street this way. There is like a candy store. Go hang out at the candy store. There is, I'm still eating candy. Do you see this? I ran a couple miles last night at like 2 a.m. Does this count? Is this why I can do it? I don't have any Mountain Dew, so I'm just like eating this. Um, yeah, being like, hey, there's like, there, here are the six restaurants. Hey, avoid this one because they will not get you your food, make you wait three hours, and then you'll leave hungry. Which is a particular restaurant that has happened to me twice now. I'm not going to eat there anymore. Um, and Stephanie, yes, you will be. Um, yeah, so I mean, is that, and again, is that something that like, I mean, like, for example, like Stephanie Lowe on my team, she's a team leader. She's bossy. She would totally get everybody together. <laughs> you know, I mean, she would totally be, well, if I said, hey, will you plan, will you research something fun for you guys to go do to suggest, and again, not that they would have to, but maybe they'll all go bowling or like a shuttle to, to the casino, people. I don't know. Well, I, I was just thinking, like, I know that we, and I, I didn't see if we followed through in the group. I saw something about um, where you tried to revive the group from last year, but you didn't think it works. Well, I started going through and I was just going to remove people and add them. And then I was like, eh, cause then I was like, well, then it's weird. Cause like all the old posts, I was like, was that a good thing for them to see the fun things from last year? Or is that weird? I don't know, but I do think that it's a good idea for people who might be planners so that they can kind of figure out if, if they can kind of start connecting before we actually get to conference, maybe they'll be more excited to actually meet each other and it won't be so intimidating um, to hang out with people that you don't know. 
Um, That's true. And then we can take some of those suggestions. Like Mary, that might be a great place for you to go in and put in some of those restaurants that you were talking about. Or if we had places that we thought were horrible last year, say avoid these places. And maybe right. we can give them like conference tips or something. Oh, that'd be fun. I don't know. And then people can kind of start thinking about like we can give them a heads up, like hey, so that when they get there, they're not like, what? Where did everybody go? Right. So like everybody disappeared. Let me find. Okay, let me see. Let me save this photo and let me create this group right now. Um, red, create group. Oops. Um, conference. So oh, maybe I'll, here, I'll put Chicago or bust. Um, let me put a picture, upload photo. There we go. Choose friends. Lisa, Shelly, Mary, Stephanie, um, Anne, Diana. Did I get you all? One, two, three, four, five, six. That all be a fact. I'm missing somebody. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, five. Maybe that is ever. Okay. So I just created a group. It's there. <laughs> um, if you can add your people that are going. Um, and then I will use that. I'll put in, I'll just kind of start doing some things. That's why I will be so lost. Also, as far as my group, they are not afraid to put themselves out there for them. They're afraid of people. They are not afraid to put themselves out there. They're afraid of people. And I think they will want to get out with everyone. They're afraid of... Are you trying to say they are afraid of people or they're not, Steph? Sorry, they're not afraid. I think Okay, that, I was like, I feel like they're not. Okay. Last year, I think that we had a lot of people who just wanted to kind of sit back. And as far as my group is concerned this year, I think that they want to get out and they want to meet everybody and they just want to hang out. Mm -hmm. And it is, remember guys, it is good for them to have to figure out some of the stuff on your own. So when we disappear, it creates some of that fear of missing out. When you disappear to a champagne reception, when you disappear to a director party or a special training, like they want to be a part of that. That's a good thing. We want them to be able to do that. Melinda, yep. And, and yeah, and honestly, looking at the roster, you got a fun, you got a fun group. Not gonna lie. <laughs> we got some good peeps coming in. But I think you're right, Shelley. I think that that was good that we create that. And then they'll kind of create some of that buzz and some of those questions and what are you wearing and some of that things that'll naturally just happen, um, I think is important. I think I kind of forgot about that part of when I was trying to figure out if it's important to have it right away or whatever. I forgot about all that, that other buzz that happens beforehand. What are you bringing? I'll bring this. Hey, we're in the same room together. Do we have, you know, like just whatever that kind of stuff gets figured out. Um, all right. So hopefully that's in there. Add your peeps and then we'll have, oh, here, see, like, should we see? Like Lisa and Diana are still in preview mode. So interesting. Crazy. Um, hey, Trina, you pointed that out, but does it tell you how to get them out of preview mode? I think like when you send them a message, like if we send them that, Hey, just want to make sure you saw this and they click on it. When they click on it, it will say so-and-so added you to a group and you will click join group and then they're in the group. Okay. So like if I went through, cause I haven't seen this before. So if I go through a group the party that I have right now, I see, I saw one where it said it's joined and I saw others where it said it's added. So if I go through and I let my host know, that all these people have been added, but that she needs to send them a message to let them know the party's going on. And then when it, when it changes to join, then I know that they're actually in the group. I believe so, yep. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like mine says okay. they're in preview mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then they, again, they have to actually accept, yes. And again, I feel like, cause it is, it depends on people's Facebook settings, but I think it's more or less like, Facebook is just gradually rolling this out and eventually it'll be everyone's in this. Yep. Kind of like the new timeline and stuff like that that people had. Um, okay, so that is pretty much, unless you guys, that's really all that I had. 
Well, so I don't know if you guys have, um, if you guys want anything else about conference or hotels or anything like that that you need to figure out while we're here. Yay, yay, no? Good. Okay, hey, this meeting was a lot less painful than last time. I feel like last time it was like, nobody's talking to me. I don't know what's going on. This was more fun. Maybe I just need to eat lots of candy all the time. We're more excited this time, I think. That's true. <laughs> we're like, we're, hey, get in there and get your power hitter points. So far, I think, Le is, is Mary the only one that's posted? So far, Mary's winning because nobody else is playing the game with her. Yeah, I said it. Who's going to show her up? <laughs> Team meetings, y'all. You, you have to lay off the candy. <laughs> You're, it's like you're a sugar feed. You gotta get your fix. <laughs> Are those all your wrappers? Oh my god. I you wasn't know. alarmed until I actually collected them all. <laughs> that was three little boxes of nerds, two smarties, three sweet tarts, and a gobstopper. Hopefully, Ariana doesn't get that when you nurse her later tonight. That's true. <laughs> get her to sleep all right. Like, it's fine. I'll go drink some water now. I think I think that is actually my problem. I didn't have a beverage, but I'm actually really thirsty, and I didn't have anything, so I just kept eating instead. Cause and I'm just super thirsty right now. Like I like and so I'm like, well, maybe I should eat something. Lord help us all. Those are all my wrappers. Yay for candy. Okay. All right. Um. Oh yes, scavenger hunt. Okay, Mary, will you, <laughs> she's like, no, no, I'm putting you in charge of that. Okay, you are in charge of finding one. They're out there. If you honestly just go in the director success page and probably say, hey, who has a scavenger hunt? People will post some things and then pick one you like, and that'll be what we do. If you want to send it to me, then I'll print it out and have it for everybody. So good. So your job is to find it. I will print it and bring it. Deal, y'all. Okay. All right. Doing shots and nurse again. <laughs> Stephanie, I've done one shot in my life and it was at conference. Two years ago? Two years ago when we walked stages AD. And my friend, what else did we do? Why was that? Oh, we did, we earned excellence for the first time in two categories. We, I don't, I don't, I didn't like it. It was gross. It was, it was gross. And my husband was actually kind of offended that I didn't have my first one with him. And I was like, you know what? I don't care. Like you had your first shot when you were like 14. I wasn't there either. It's fine. <laughs> I was like, I was with my friends. We, yeah, we bought them up. And they, I'm pretty sure, I'll have to ask Rachel. I'm going to ask Rachel if she still has the YouTube and I'll post it. You guys don't think it's funny. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.